Hi guys, today we are going to talk about a book called Gautanama Diary. It is basically a book by the full, fully restored text by Mahmudul Al Salahi, edited by Larry Seams and with a new introduction from the author. Well, I'll give you a brief, brief update on this book. I bought it a couple of weeks ago from the bookshop in Lahore, Pakistan and uh, I thought it would be something really great. Uh, by the title Gautama Diary, you see, it was done, it was pretty long actually. It was 410 pages long. It was not that long, but it was still long. <coughs> Anyways, so Muhammad Al Salahi, the author of the book, is a uh, basically a man f from uh, the African country of Mauritianian, where he lives and has grown up and is from. Uh, what happens next <coughs> in the book is that he goes uh, to uh, Canada to study, and he also works in the country called Germany. Anyways, what happens next is that uh, the U.S. military come to uh, his ha his uh, country of birth in 2002 and take him to Gautanama Bay. Over there, his life is hell. He is accused of being a member of the Taliban and Al Qaeda. He is accused of being uh, friends with Osama bin Laden. He is accused of being behind the September 11 terrorist attacks that took place in the United States of America <coughs> and he denies all charges. He uh, fails to uh, he, uh, um, admit that he was behind all those bad things that happened but they torture him so much and treat him so badly that he doesn't know what to do. So uh, what happens next is that uh the the the, uh, the whole book revolves around uh, the torture that he has to go through and what life he lives in prison and how he has to suffer so much so he basically starts writing a diary in which he writes about uh, how he's tortured and everything so <clears throat> he is accused of being part of all these terrorist organizations although he has nothing to do with them and is an innocent man. Apart from that, <clears throat> he is not allowed to say his prayers or pray to God or read the Quran and uh, he is tortured, li tortured like hell. He is uh, electrocuted and beaten the crap out of. He is... Uh, taught it so badly that he doesn't know what to do he misses his home he misses his parents and relatives and he just wants to go home and he spends around four to five thousand year uh, days in jail or something like that so this is what the whole book revolves around it revolves around the tortures that take place in Gautanama diary uh, and it's about how he's uh, forced to uh, how he is tortured and how he is not allowed to uh, uh, practice his religion openly and freely as a, a free inmate and he is treated discriminated against and uh, treated as a third class c uh, citizen uh, and that he has to go through a lot of difficult times that's what the book revolves around there's nothing more to say what happens next is that they want the truth to get out of him. He, they want him to confess to the terrorist activities that took place in the United States of America, and then they give him. A, and then he finally has to admit actually, and then he, uh, they give him uh, a polygraph test, whatever that's called, and in it he passes. That means he's telling the truth, and they're very happy with him. And then he's uh, accused of blowing up the CN Tower, the Canadian National Tower, and he's accused of doing many things. He's uh, accused of the Millennium Plot and the bombing of several places in America, United States of America. And 
uh, it's about the human rights abuses that the United States government does in Guantanamo Bay and he exposes them and he wants the world to know that what tortures um, happen in the Guantanamo Bay and how people are mistreated and are wrongly accused and sentenced to life imprisonment or are tortured and are beaten the crap out of this was a very emotional book it was not as good as it could have been it could have been much better but still it was nice a good book to read and it was like 410 pages long so i enjoyed reading this so in two th- in october 2016 he was released without charge and this is S- muhammad al salahi's uh, journey and how he suffered and the human rights abuses that the united states does in gothanama bay